there appears to be someone sitting down in one of the seats. Come on, bro. You think I'm gonna see that shit? He had to enhance the vision just so we could see it this time. What's good, y'all? Welcome back or welcome if you are new. Thank you for checking out the video. I hope you are enjoying the videos that I've been putting out this week. Uh, more scary content, part two. And today we are reacting to a new channel that I've never reacted to before. I uh, was scrolling on, you know, the search on YouTube, trying to find some new stuff. Came across this channel called Bizarre Bub. They do a bunch of scary comps. This is Scary Comp version 35. Original video link will be down in the description. Let's get into it. It's late at night, and a swing is swinging on its own on an empty playground. The person who shot this was passing by when he saw the swing moving by itself. However, there is something way more creepy in this video that we don't see. The same person who shot this had two phones with him at the time, his personal cell and work phone. He used both phones to record this in case someone might think that he's moving the swing. The work phone was recording from a different angle to prove this. However, it's the work phone that captures something that his personal cell didn't. In the footage shot by the work phone, there appears to be a silhouette of someone near the swings. Mm. Mm. I don't know about yeah. this one. In the other footage, that, there doesn't that, appear that's to be probably anyone fake. There. Most definitely got to be. After looking at both footages, it seems that he may have caught something unexplainable. But what do you think? I, I Did think he catch someone who was looking at him or I think he got put in. Else? Nah, I most definitely I'll got leave put it in. to you to decide. This is special effects. Got to be. I, I don't know. It's just, it's too dark of a silhouette. It's too a family. I don't know. Buys a doll from a thrift store. But ever since buying it, there's been nothing. I feel like when something just seems too obvious. Their home. It's they usually that's what that it is. The doll is haunted and is therefore responsible for the strange activity that's been happening. From toys turning on by themselves to things moving on their own, the family is stuck in a house that they believe is haunted. The family has no idea as to how they could stop the strange activity. But then one day, a friend of the family suggested that they light a white candle by the doll in the hopes that doing so would stop the activity. Why they a white candle? That but something very strange happens. The family sets up a camera in front of the doll to capture anything unusual that happens. This is what they caught. The eyes finna move, or the head. Some, some. Okay, the flame gets a little bit brighter. A little more intense. I think it's pissing the doll off. The candlelight mysteriously gets brighter but unfortunately, this had no effect on the strange activity. Things only appear to get worse. But then one day, the strangest incident happens. The daughter is playing with the doll when the following is caught on camera. Did the doll just slap her? I didn't hear the slap sound. If can you I, listen yeah, closely, replay. you can almost hear what sounds like a slap. Oh, yeah. The daughter even says that she was hurt. Viewers who've seen the video believe that the doll had slapped her. The parents also believe this, given the strange occurrences they've encountered. But what do you think? They keep saying the face. Did the doll actually Did the face slap change? Her, or was I can't it tell. something else? Let me know your thoughts. That was, a, that was a creepy one. Ghost hunter Gantu stays overnight at a store that is said to be haunted. He's invited by the store owner who claims that the store is a hotspot for paranormal activity. In fact, the activity is so intense that the store owner is too afraid to spend the night there. It is hoped that his friend Gantu will investigate the place and figure out what's going on. But little does Gantu know that he would encounter something terrifying. Gantu is by himself playing a video game. I seen this clip on Twitter. This clip is that recent recent? I've like I just seen this on Twitter the other day. 
creepy it hell no i'm not no y'all are finna see it it happens that is a whole child a whole child figure watching him look at it you can see it move I, I think I've seen this on TikTok too. Mm -mm. And he over here playing pl uh, PlayStation a VR. Apparition of a child can be seen in the corner observing Ganto as he plays. Could this be the supposed entity that haunts the place? Or is it something else? Now, it could be that this was an actual child who appears to look ghostly because of the quality of the footage. But True. that doesn't explain how the fast movement the child moves. Exactly. I was just going to say that. The movement. Could this be an actual child or something else? What are your thoughts? Think that's a ghost, my boy. The following video was captured on a security camera that caught something downright terrifying. The person who posted the video writes, After finding holes in the garage door, I checked the security camera, and this is what was recorded. What is that? You see how skinny the arm is? If this isn't the stuff of nightmares, I don't know what is. There isn't that much info on the video except for the fact that it was captured in someone's backyard. But what do you make of this video? This is the same shit from yesterday's video. In the in the bushes or whatever, the outside the dude house. This is the exact same thing. Real or fake? These things are real. Know. There's multiple out there, whatever it is. Urban explorer Christopher Hill explores an abandoned school and encounters something pretty creepy. Because that is not a human. I'm, I, the I won't believe that. The school in 2011 after being deemed unsafe due to structural damage. It's been 10 years and not a single soul is in sight. Or so it seems. There's something ominous about this place. And it seems that someone or something is watching Chris. He's exploring Where? the place when the following happens. Be sure to pay close attention or you'll miss it. Oh, yeah, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Let's go. Okay, I ain't see shit. Fuck. As Chris walks down the hallway, we can see a row of lockers, some of which are open. But when Chris walks out of the room, all the lockers are now closed. Okay. As if wasn't, wasn't thinking about enough, that. That is pretty weird. Yeah. Chris is exploring another part of the building when the following happens. I swear it said something was watching him, but okay. Uh, I guess the lockers were watching him. What is that? Oh my God, do y'all see that? Oh, what? Oh, my man not playing around. That's a genuine response and reaction. Yo, y'all see that? What the fuck is that? Yeah, this is, this is genuine. Chris sees what appears to be a glowing light. Now, it is it pretty odd, but it could be explainable. As opposed yeah. to seeing something else. Yet viewers think that this might be something ghostly. However, I can't explain the lockers that seemingly close by themselves. 
It was after Chris had seen the footage that he noticed. But Shit, I wouldn't have noticed that either. That's such a small thing. I didn't notice it when During it first happened. Exploration, Chris had checked out an auditorium. There was something in there that he didn't see. Look very closely or you'll miss this one for sure. Man, you said that last time and I missed it. So I know I'm missing it this time too. That was so fast. Come on. You didn't even give me a chance. There appears to be someone sitting down in one of the seats. Come on, bro. You think I'm going to see that shit? He had to enhance the vision just so we could see it this time. Bro, nah, I'm going back. If I don't see it, this nigga, this nigga played me. Bro, who is been this? There's nothing there. During his exploration, Chris had checked out an auditorium. Y'all tell me if y'all see it. I still see. don't see it. I mean, I saw it the second time, but he enhanced the footage. Nah, bro, they played me. They, that's all they wanted to do. They played us. We should all feel a little dumb. There appears to be someone sitting down in one of the seats. Perhaps this might have been a squatter. But viewers seem to think it was an apparition. Viewers, my ass. Nobody can see that. When he saw this. It's not certain if he'll be coming back to this place. But after seeing this, it seems likely that he won't. Uh. Who knows what's hiding inside this place? Hey, look, man, the video, look, I'm not going to lie. The video was good, right? But that last little clip, I feel like was some bullshit because there, I didn't see shit in the goddamn theater. I don't know how anyone would even see that without enhancing the footage. So the fact that he really made us sit there and try to see it to, with our naked eye blows my mind. If y'all saw it, y'all must have amazing vision. It's probably because I'm wearing glasses. I can't see it. Who knows? But I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. Let me know down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next one. I love y'all. Peace. I may finesse the bitch if I'm able. Uh, run up, you catch a club, get disabled. Uh, I never kill my brother. I ain't able to cane.